Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Today. So, uh, we're going to go to Disney Springs. Mm -hmm. Wine Bar George has a brunch because it's a Saturday. So another thing is that Disney World, Universal, and SeaWorld all announced that masks outside are optional. <laughs> it, everything happened so fast last night. It, right. They just, it was like Universal announced it and we were like, oh my gosh. And then Disney announced it and then we were like, whoa. And then SeaWorld announced it. It just, it all happened within like a matter of minutes, I feel like. Yeah. So. SeaWorld is a little bit different. They're saying you don't have to wear masks if you're vaccinated, but it's the honor system. Yeah, so who, like. So essentially no masks. You don't have to prove it, yeah. Um, the other thing is that. Those are my ears. Thank you. So we're headed to Disney Springs, which is all outside, mm -hmm. but we still do have to wear our masks through security and I think that's so that they know that you have a mask for when you go inside of buildings, inside of Disney Springs. That definitely makes sense. That's your hat. Well, it's my hat, but you can wear it. Um, but yeah, it's, I think it's, it's, for me personally, my opinion is that, <laughs> look at him, <laughs> is that there's too many gray areas. Yeah. I think this is going to be really tough for the cast members. Like I really, really feel for the cast members because they're going to have a hard time. Yeah. Um, one thing, one thing I do want to say, one thing I do want to say is that like, if you're going to the parks, just be nice to the cast members. Right. Not that I think that you guys wouldn't be, but I just feel like it's something to keep in the back of your mind that they're probably having a really hard day with this. Yeah. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. Like, let's just try to make it easier for everybody. Yeah. You know? Love you, buddy. I love you. But I do. I really, really feel for the cast members <coughs> that they're going to. This isn't going to be easy for them. This is a transition period, I think, between rules and procedures. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm excited and nervous to see how it goes today. So let's head on over. Okay, so there, there isn't a checkpoint for masks, but there is a cast member here at Disney Springs yelling as people are coming in, make sure you have masks available for when you go indoors. So there's not like a point where you have to like check and like, okay, you have a mask, you have a mask, you have a mask. But they are saying you won't be allowed indoors if you don't have a mask. So it got a little bit confusing for some people back here. The team member was like, you don't have to wear masks outside, but the person was wearing an unapproved mask, which was a neck gaiter. And so the, team, the cast member was trying to explain to them, like, it's totally fine. You can go into Disney Springs with your neck gaiter, but just know you won't be allowed into any of the stores because you're not wearing an appropriate mask. Also, there's no more temperature check. Oh yeah, so we... Which, that was supposed to end tomorrow, but it looks like they ended it early. All right, Jen, you ready? I'm... I think so. <laughs> there it goes. We did it. It's weird. It's very strange. I, I got I'm, goosebumps. I feel like I'm still probably going to wear my mask. Yeah? I think so. Okay. I don't know. Well, I mean, like, we're going to be popping in and out of stores, so it just seems easier to leave it on. I also feel like I'm not ready. I don't know. I guess we'll kind of, like, play it by ear, see how we feel throughout the day. I think that's the good thing is that we can pop it back on if we're in a situation where we feel like, oh, maybe we should put it back, you know? Yeah, like coming in through security, it was just a lot of people bunched up against each other. Yeah. So I felt fine. Like I felt good about wearing the mask. Yeah. Um, I will say there are a lot more people not wearing masks than I thought there would be. Oh, I think people were ready to, no, I, to not have to wear it anymore. I saw another post from Universal that said that mask wearing was about 50%. Right. Here it feels like people are like maybe like 20% of people are wearing masks. Right. So it's interesting. I'll be, I'll be, yeah, I'll be uh, kind of curious to see how it plays out in the coming days and weeks. Yeah. So, all right, well, let's head into Disney Springs. So I found that the bathrooms have always been a, an interesting place as far as everything goes during this pandemic. And with these new rules, same thing applies. It is indoors. The bathroom is indoors. So you're supposed to, by the rules, wear your mask into the bathroom. I didn't see a lot of people wearing their masks in the bathroom. So I know that a lot of people, there's nobody like checking you at the bathroom, but it's just kind of like a, a courtesy thing. You should put on your mask if you're going into the bathroom. So it is a Saturday in the middle of May. It's May 15th and it is about 11.15 in the morning. Not too bad of a crowd. It's also very nice outside right now. It's only 79 degrees outside, but it doesn't feel hot at all. So we just asked what the wait time was for Gideon's and they told us it was about three hours and 40 minutes. So that would put us here about uh, three o'clock, four o'clock, <laughs> somewhere around there. So I don't know if we will be able to be here that long to get the Gideon Squiggies. When we put our name in, they gave us the halfway to Halloween menu, Barnabas Mustafa Little. He's cool. I like him. But now we're going to try to go into Wine Bar George 
is they have a special brunch called the Wine Country Brunch. Here is the look at the menu too. Let's see here. Oh, steak and eggs, French toast, sausage, gravy, and biscuits, eggs, Benedict. Oh my goodness, this sounds so good. Wow. I kind of want to eat all of this stuff. So I do highly recommend getting reservations if you want to come to brunch. Yeah, I didn't realize brunch was so popular here. Oh yeah, brunch is popular everywhere. It looks delicious. You'll have to forgive me because I already started cutting these up for Jackson. But we got him some fried macaroni and cheese balls. Yeah, that's what you're going to eat, buddy. They're too hot right now. You got to wait. I think, um... I think they call them fried macaroni and cheese bites because we're at a, a classy place. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> But our server came out and she said, I have some little, what did she call them? Little balls of heaven. I love it. It's true. All right, so we got the artisanal cheese board to start and we, this one comes with four kinds of cheese. We have a blue cheese, a machango cheese, machego? I might be saying that wrong, manchego. There is a cheddar cheese and then I don't know what the one on the top left is, but there was a, a blue cheese, a goat's cheese, a cow milk cheese, and then there was another sheep cheese, a sheep's milk cheese. So, and then we also have a, like a fruit preserve, spiced olives, honeycomb, and Spanish almonds. Looks delicious. And then you do get a little plate of crostini bread and uh, like little crackers. Jackson's loving the crackers so far. I am loving the cheese and fruit combination on the crostini. This is so delicious. And the honey, the cheese and the honey, oh my gosh. And Jackson is just loving this cheese. He's a little fancy baby. Are you a little fancy baby buddy? <laughs> so I highly recommend getting the fruit, the uh, cheese board. It's, it's wonderful. I love all the cheeses on it. So the funny thing about babies, well toddlers I guess, is that one day he likes something and then literally five minutes later he's like, no, I don't like this anymore. So the last time we were here, he really liked these mac and cheese bites and this time he won't eat them. No, he, he started eating them. Yeah. I think what it was is the cheese board came out halfway through the macaroni and cheese and he's like, oh, what's that? Right. I want that. Right, And yeah. then we gave him a little bit of cheese. He's like, I want that more than I want the macaroni and cheese bites. I don't blame you. The cheese board was delicious, but the macaroni and cheese bites are delicious. We usually get them when we come for like lunch or dinner. And that's something with this brunch that I like is that they do have like lunch and dinner staples on the brunch menu as well. So like the cheese board you can get for lunch or dinner. The mac and cheese balls you can get for lunch or dinner. I think they have the hummus. So that's really exciting if you're coming for brunch and you're like, oh, I really wanted to try some of their more staple menu items. You can do that. Um, and then of course they have like really amazing cocktails and wines. There's George. George is here. He's right there. The man, the, the myth, right the legend. There. Oh yeah, you can't see. That's him. He's George. <laughs> down here waiting down tables. I know, how amazing is that? Yeah, one of, one of like 200 sommeliers in the world and he's like wiping down tables at a restaurant. This is great, I don't know, I love this place. Yeah. That's, a, that's how you know like a great, a great leader. You know that he's like, he's, he's invested in this place. Oh, for sure. Here it is, here's the Eggs Benedict. This looks like it's gonna be real good. This house-made chicken sausage. Mm. Also this, this muffin. Looks amazing. I got the fried chicken biscuit. This looks so good. It has fried chicken on their homemade biscuits with an over easy egg and pimento cheese with like a bacon jam. And then it's served with some coleslaw. I'm so glad that we came here for brunch. This looks awesome. So I wanted to show you a little cross section of my fried chicken biscuit. This is amazing. This is like the pork pluma level amazing to me. So you've got the the homemade biscuit on bottom, on the bottom, you've got the pimento cheese, which is like ooey, gooey, just deliciousness. And then the chicken, I believe is like a chicken thigh. It's uh, got some dark meat in there. It tastes amazing. The, the breading is super crunchy. Even with the, the jam on top, it has a bacon jam, which is smoky and wonderful. And then of course the perfectly cooked egg. I love this. I would totally order this every time we came. This is awesome. What did you think? You had a bite of it too. It was really good. It was nice and smoky and crispy. Didn't it kind of remind you of like a southern Eggs Benedict in a way? Yeah. I don't know. I loved I, it. I really like my Eggs Benedict too. It was very light. It was like a nice light breakfast item. I went, so mine was definitely a little bit heavier, but worth it. So it's actually a few days later. <laughs> we are continuing this video because we ran out of time after brunch to go and try the Dole Whip nachos. Yes. So we're and back. 
we said, we said our next trip, we're gonna do the Dole Whip Nachos and we even pinky promised. So technically, this is still the same trip. Yeah, just uh, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> so we're going to get some Dole Whip Nachos. Yeah, so no Dole Whip for breakfast, why not? Heck yeah. Let's when do in, it. When in Rome. Yeah, we're one in Disney Springs. <laughs> so we might have gotten here early enough to get to Gideon's and put our name on the list and have it not be too long of a wait. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Dang, Disney Springs on a Monday morning. So where it's at. I mean, literally where it's not at, where nobody's here. <laughs> like this is not not the popular place at the moment. Well, so we were talking about, you know, in the last, in the beginning part of this video, we talked about how the mask rules have changed. Yeah. And I feel like with the amount of people that are here right now, I would feel comfortable taking my mask off. Right. So I might I might do that. Oh, she did it. It feels weird. Doesn't it? It's kind of strange to be like walking. Because you know, you stop and you take your mask off to eat or drink or whatever. But to just walk outside in a Disney area and not wear it, it feels weird. Also, I was thinking it's going to be so nice to be able to like walk around with your drinks. Yeah. Like you before you used to have, sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Before you used to have to stop and eat or drink, but now you could like grab a churro and eat it as you walk around. Yeah. It's where or, it's at. Or a Gideon's cookie. Oh, or a Gideon's cookie. <laughs> Just passed by some people that had a Gideon's menu and I was like, oh, how long's the wait? And they said 40 minutes. So I think we're gonna get Gideon's cookies today. I think it's looking good for us. Heck yeah. I also wanted to say now, if it gets to a situation where um, it is a little more crowded, I will put my mask back on. Yeah. And of course, if we go indoors um, or have to be like, close with a cast member or anything like that. So I like having the option. Yeah. I think it's nice. Characters in flight, slight breeze going right now. And this thing is a swaying. Look at it go. Wow, and that's almost down to the ground. So you know it was swaying even more when it was higher up. Well, it looks like it would be fun. It's almost like a thrill ride at that point. So by the time that we made it to Gideon's, it's gone up by 10 minutes, the 50 minute wait. Mm -hmm. So we will have to wait a little bit before we can get our cookies. We should go into the Ganashri though, because I think they also have something for Halfway to Halloween. So just, just like a few doors down from Gideon's right there, and Wine Bar George is at the end. That's where we had brunch earlier in the video. We're heading into the Ganashri. Well, bad news, I guess the Halfway to Halloween was only a three day event. So we didn't get to get the, they had a Sanderson Sisters hot chocolate bomb. It was like a cauldron shape. You put it in a cup and you pour hot milk over it, and then it melts and turns into hot chocolate. So we didn't get to get that. And I don't know if we'll get to get the thing from Gideon's either, which is like, uh, it was a chocolate chip cookie wrapped in a pie crust and then cooked, which sounds amazing, but I think we missed out on that as well. They still have their monthly cookie, which is espresso and peanut butter, which we might end up getting. Like I say every time, I love to come to Vivoli Il Gelato to see what they've got. This strawberry waffle sounds so good. I think you're gonna like this one. Uh-oh, I like things. What is it? Bacon waffles. Ooh. Bacon waffles, making bacon waffles. You take the bacon and you put it in a waffle. There's a line to rope drop boathouse. I wonder what time it opens. I'm guessing 11 in five minutes. Ooh, people are rope dropping T-Rex Cafe too. Really excited for that one. One day we'll have to bring Jackson. I think he'll really like it. Looks like we showed up at the exact right moment. They are just opening right now. So we are gonna get some Dole Whip nachos. So here, a cast member is creating our Dole Whip nachos. These are $8.99. It's waffle cone chips topped with Dole Whip, mango boba pearls, fresh pineapple, strawberry sauce, whipped cream, and rainbow sprinkles. It looks like a pretty big portion too. There it is, and I do have to say, it's so hot here that it just melts right away. But it's really not that hot right now. I know. We took us maybe 30 seconds to walk over here to this <laughs> bench, and it's already losing its shape. Wow. Well, let's give it a try, though. It looks right. really delicious. It does look so good. All right, let's try to get some Dole Whip, some pineapple, some cherry, some whipped cream in there, too. That's awesome. Like, way more refreshing than regular nachos for a hot day. This is great. I think the true test will be trying to get it all on a waffle cone, like a real nacho. The ultimate nacho bite. This is a fantastic little dessert, little snack to have at Disney Springs. It's got the traditional Dole Whip flavor of like a, a soft serve pineapple dessert, like frozen dessert, because it is vegan, so there's no dairy in it. Um, the little bobas, I don't know if they really have a, too much of a flavor to them. If they do, they're being overpower overpowered by the pineapple that's in here. And there's a little strawberry drizzle on there and then some whipped cream. So the whipped cream makes it so that it's not vegan. I wonder if you can get it without the whipped cream and maybe the bobas are also not vegan. 
because they probably have uh, gelatin in them. So I think that you could get this vegan. It just wouldn't be as like extravagant as it is right now. This is fantastic though. Mm. It's better with the little like waffle cone pieces, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. What do you think, Jackson? He loves it. Look at that face. That's the face of somebody that loves a Dole Whip. <laughs> I think the waffle piece gives it like a nice crunch, like a nice texture. He's just like leaning for it. He's like, give me more. I like that the Dole kind of has not like a sour taste, but it's not as sweet. Right. It's nice. Yeah, I do like this. I'm glad that we finally tried it. We put a pretty good dent in it so far. So Jackson's helping. Something else that's fun that Jackson does is if, we get, if he finds a leaf, he never lets it go. <laughs> He's always got that leaf with him. But I also wanted to mention too that the cast member who made it, I loved how they really like took their time. Yeah. I think they realized like how special the Dole Whip nachos are. Like it's a, you know, it's like a fun special dessert. Yeah. That you're like sharing with your friends or you could eat on your own. But I like that they Yeah, really... that's the other thing is like it's not, not too overwhelming as far as sugar goes that you could eat it on your own. Yeah, I mean it, the portion is pretty big, but I like that she, like I like that they really took their time and made it very beautiful. All right, we're gonna stop into World of Disney real quick because I heard that the new emos have some fun accessories now, so we'll have a look and see what they look like. I feel like I look at these new emos so often that I can't remember if we saw Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore, and Tigger before. But here they are, still not seeing Miss Piggy and Kermit. We're still trying to find these accessories. So I saw that somebody posted that they're selling Nuimo like umbrellas and it, it's an accessory umbrella for your Nuimo like on a rainy day. So it's a little tiny umbrella, it's $13. And that's what I wanted to show because that's like the newest Nuimo item, but I don't see them anywhere. Dang. Yeah, I can't believe they're $13. Right, that's as much as a normal umbrella. You can get a real umbrella. Right? <laughs> um, yeah, I still kind of feel like the Nuimo thing is a cash grab, but like a very cute cash grab. Yeah. You know? For $30, they have some graduation ear headbands. And Mickey graduated too. Look at that. He graduated magna cum mousy. <laughs> I haven't seen these before. There's a shirt that says home, and the O is in earth in the shape of Mickey. But also they have these, these are what, reusable silverware? Or this is like a reusable placemat. Right? At like yeah. the restaurants and stuff? Yeah, for him. And then they have a little like a lunchbox. A lunch like box. A $35. And then this is a whole lunch kit down here. I don't think there's anything in there. I think this is just like a Tupperware. It is made of metal, so you cannot use it in a microwave. It is $25. Fun eat repeat. They have these big, big water bottles for $35, insulated. And then some reusable Ziploc style bags for $13. Fun, eat, repeat. These are non-insulated for $23 that can roll up. Like once you're done drinking out of them, you can roll them up and store them very easily. And then when you need to fill them with water, you unroll them and then fill them up. And then over here is all of their new Pride merchandise. There's a lot of it. Lots and lots of stuff. Oh, I like this bag. The Loungefly Mickey and Minnie Pride backpack. This is neat. I like the colors on this too. Yeah, it's so cute. I wish it wasn't a onesie though, because he does better without the onesies. They fit him better, like if it was just a t-shirt. But they do go up to 24 months, so they are available for bigger kids. And they are... $20. All right, now I've gotten the text from Gideon's, so we're heading to get our cookies. I'm very excited about cookies. It's been a while since we've had Gideon's cookies. Also, we did find out that Halfway to Halloween was only a three-day event, so we cannot get the Halfway to Halloween special cookie slash pie over there at Gideon's. What it was was a chocolate chip cookie that was wrapped in a pie crust and then baked. So we won't be able to try that, but maybe we'll be back for Halloween. All right, time for Gideon's. I'm very excited. Oh, oh, I forgot how awesome Gideon's is and how good it smells in here. Ooh, we're gonna try these dipped chocolate, or these dipped cookies, they're dipped in chocolate. Oh my goodness. So this, today they've got true red velvet, 
chocolate everything. By the way, look at the way that it looks when it's a full cake. And this is hazelnut mocha double frosted. Oh, no. goodness. So I think I'm gonna get this guy, the original chocolate chip, but this pistachio is one of my favorites as well. And this is the cookie of the month, the peanut butter espresso. All right, we got some stuff. This is our Gideon's haul. She said, do you want a bag? And I said, no, we don't need one. She goes, I'll give you one anyways. They are comically oversized though. And I was like, okay. So it looks like we got a ton of stuff. We didn't. We only got two cookies and some cookie bites. And I got my peanut butter cold brew. Jen's favorite coffee in all of Disney Springs. Come. Yeah, I have to get it. But. Um, so it's Jackson's nap time. So I think we're gonna head home. I think we're gonna try these cookies at home. Yeah. So we'll see you at home in just a second. Stay tuned. So we are home now. We're home. It's time for us to try some of our Gideon's treats. The first thing that we're gonna try are these cookie bites, and these are little pieces of cookie that are dipped in chocolate. So it's a quarter. It's a quarter of a normal Gideon's cookie. Look how big that is. So that just shows you how big the actual Gideon's cookies are. They're huge. And these comes in a bag of five for $10. Should I give it a try? Which one is this? I think it's peanut butter. Okay. So there is a look at the inside of a cookie bite. This is awesome. Yeah? Yeah. I imagine like with the chocolate on the outside, it's probably pretty intense. It's really good. That's really rich. Wow. Oh my goodness. So good though. So here's a look at the other four flavors that came in our variety pack and we tried the peanut butter, but you can see they've got the pistachio toffee. They've got cookies and cream. This one's their regular chocolate chip, and this one is their chocolate chocolate chip. Very, very delicious looking. I can't wait to try these. So the whole reason why we went to Gideon's is we wanted to try their flavor of the month. This is the peanut butter espresso cookie. So it does have the chocolate chips, the peanuts, as well as coffee like crumbles. This looks so delicious. And now I wish I'd asked them, I, is it like caffeinated or did they use decaf? Oh yeah, we never asked last time. I feel like at one point I had asked and they said they used decaf coffee grounds. I'm not getting a lot of peanut butter. I'm getting more like chocolate chips and coffee. Actually it kind of tastes like coffee grounds. Yeah. Like less like a coffee drink flavor mm -hmm. and more like you're just eating coffee grounds. Hmm. This one's not my favorite. I think my favorite cookie is still the chocolate toffee pistachio cookie that they have. Mm -hmm. It's just a really nice like combination of salty and sweet. Uh, yeah, I think that's still my favorite. I jump back and forth mm. between a standard chocolate chip, which is what I got. Like that's the other cookie that we have mm -hmm. and the pistachio one. Yeah, I would definitely say if you haven't tried Gideon's and you're in Disney Springs and you want to add your name to the list and the wait's not too super long, I would definitely say do it. Yeah. I would for sure try their, the peanut butter cold brew, like 100% I would try that. But while we were there, they also had a, a double hazelnut latte cake. Mm -hmm. That sounded really good too. So I would for sure maybe try one of their specialty cake slices. If you follow them on Instagram, you can sometimes get like a, a secret slice. So I think it's I think it's more of an experience than anything, like just going to Gideon's is like an experience. Yeah. But that peanut butter espresso cookie, I don't think is my favorite. Right, but regular Gideon's cookies, mm -hmm. best cookies you'll get at Disney Springs. Oh, for sure, yeah. But also, before we forget to mention, the Dole Whip nachos, that's another one that, like, for sure, try those. If you yeah. like Dole Whip and you want to have, like, just, like, a fun treat, I would 100% try those Dole Whip nachos. They were really good. Also, if you're there on a hot day, get those Dole Whip nachos. Yeah. Because they, although they will melt quick, <laughs> it was such, like, a refreshing, and it wasn't overly filling. Yeah. It was so nice. I liked it a lot. Me too. So all in all, a fantastic day, a fantastic trip out to Disney Springs. Really enjoyed some wonderful food, even though it was over two days. It was a great time. So with that being said, we are off. We will see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.